guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Leia, and today we are going to do a makeup video. Another one, another one, another one. So this time, I'll be doing another basic makeup, but in the same time, I'll be... In the same time, I'll be um, showing you guys my favorite products, the, fav the usual products that I use on my face. It's not an everyday makeup because this is going to be glammed up. In the same time, I'm going to teach you guys somehow on how I, uh, how to put on makeup, especially for for beginners who wants to learn how to put on makeup. So first, before we start this video, I want you guys to just scroll down a bit and click that red button that subscribe button and hit the like if you want more videos from me and comment down and say hi because i love saying hi to you guys so now let's start starting with my headband because you know priorities is to be cute af yeah my camera angle is not you should do is making sure your face is clean so I just wash my face and put on my my, my skincare routine so if you haven't watched my skincare routine check the last video so now I'm just going to put on this the fresh skin lab tomato glass skin um, body and face spray that is just to prep my face for the makeup that I'm going to put on. So next, I'll be putting on primer. This is what I use, the Quick Effects No Shine Mattifier Primer. And if you watch my videos already know, this is like um, the primer that I usually use because this is cheap, affordable, and it does the job well. So I got nothing, nothing to complain about it except that sometimes I'm not quite sure that it actually works because they're like people who say that it hides their pores and I'm like I don't see it my por my pores my pores is, is, is still there so when you're starting makeup it depends on you on how you like to start it so um, a lot of people start it with um, foundation but I prefer going into the eye makeup and brow makeup first because with the brows so we have here the zoeana naturals box of brow brow soap and i use this a lot in my brows just going to spray okay. i'm just fully just brushing Brow pencil from me, um, maybe Linto like Caroline. Come from Caroline. This is the Wow Brow liner, and I really love this um, line, um, brow liner because of the formula. And it's not easy, it's not easy, it's not that hard to, to show off to make it show off on the brows. It's really easy to work with. I definitely recommend this one rather than the best brow. I know the best brow is much easier and convenient because it has a spoolie, but I I don't know. I don't like the bar of that. It's hard to show off. So for people who are not using a brow soap, um, I recommend that you line your brows first, like the shape of your brows, and then that's when you fill it up with the, um, with whatever product you're using. And just make sure that you're, you're not like 
putting much product here and I have because your brows should be like a graded should have this graded effect that you don't overline it or over shade it you know what I mean so this is editing Leia and I just want to say that I'm really confusing and I'm so sorry so I just want to say that you should have a thin layer of product here and thick here because you don't want to look like you have caterpillar eyebrows okay you look you want them to still look natural and you know because that's how eyebrows is this is just a natural looking brow as you can see it's just like that so yeah so next we'll be going to the makeup portion the eye makeup so I recommend that you put on a tape so that you know where you're going with this and where you're going to end your eyeshadow and also it helps with the eyeliner so I'll be going for a smoky type of eyeshadow look and I'm going to take two palettes I'm going to take James Charles palette and the detail makeover palette so these are the two things two palettes I'm going to use first I'm going to take this knock shade as our transition and put it all over the eye area so transition shades are basically transition for your eye makeup because you want um, a blended um, edges for it because it won't look cute if it's not blended. So, so I forgot to put on a, a base, a primer for the eyes. So, oh well, but I recommend putting concealer or any eye primer for your eyes because that will make the color pop out more but I'm not using a very colorful look today I'm just going to use some neutral shades and some black brown shades so nothing really special so. then I'm taking the opal with the same from the same palette this is dark brown shade and just putting it all over the lid. Then taking this um, less darker brown shade, this hardening shade, at the edges of the opal. So it's kind of, kind of going reddish brown now, but we're going to fix it. Then this is where James Charles comes in and we'll take this dark shade. Like, I think it's for the contour, but. brush that we used for the transition shade and just blending the edges. So it actually looks like that. We're going a bit darker with this ay, 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 ay. this kind of gray shade. Like dark um, brown gray shade. I mean. Just putting it Not on the bottom, bottom, but with the lid. Blending more. 
directions you have to blend all <laughs> a lot. Have to be really patient with it because it's going to look whack if you don't blend it well. So let's make sure we blend. Okay. I want to also bring the dark color here at the edge so that we make it like that. There's like a win for it. But don't worry, we're going. We're also going to put on eyeliner still because I want to show you guys how I put on my eyeliner because some of you guys are asking for it. So we're basically done with the eyeshadow and I'm just going to put on eyeliner. I'm just going to pick out. I'm going to use the Showreel Stick Eyeliner. This is a good eyeliner for beginners as well as people who are on the budget because this is just 99 and I got it for a 50% discount so I got it for like 49 pesos which is really a <laughs> still 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 <laughs> yeah. it's going to line my ass my wing there you go and then I make sure not to overlap this part the edge of my wood I mean crease like that like I don't overlap that part because that would mean I'm overlining or like um, my eye shape would, would be back. So yeah, on the other side, so I'm facing. This is buy one take one. You get a clear adhesive, um, and then another one for um, in a black shade or like in a black color, and which is really cool because you know you get two in one for a, an affordable price. Which is if you want, I can link them down. I'll explain real quick that that. That falsies that I use in this video is the same falsies that I used from my last makeup look in um, from Instagram because I don't want to waste falsies and buy more, so that's why I'm reusing it and 
saving my money and also it's i know it's unhygienic for some of you out there but it's my skin i didn't go out so it's okay This video might be long, but anyway, <laughs> you clicked on this one, so I hope you're learning something from me. So, next we're going to put on foundation first, because uh, I feel like this is good. I'm not going to be ready quite yet. Oh my god. So, I didn't film that. Um, I just put on my lashes. I thought it was recording. It wasn't. So anyway, this is the lashes and I didn't have any problem in putting it on so Well, that's a fail I'm so sorry, but we're still in the middle of putting on our foundation. So let's just put it So this is what currently looks like so I'm debating if I could if I should put on contour stick So this is the Cocute Am I saying that right? Cocute Play 101 stick and it has like, a contour and a highlight um, type of concealer stick choo -choo. <laughs> I don't know what, what I'm talking about but anyway that's just a double end um, contour product just put it here make sure you're like on the phone like with that so I'm just going to bake using my covergirl loose powder in the shade 150 So while waiting for the bait I'm just going to do mascara because by now the lash glue would like dry so. for the caps we're going to put some eyeliner and I'm wiping off the powder and just also setting the whole face you can run on the quill and I am taking the AP Pearl eyeliner in the shade chocolate and I'm and I put it here on the lower part of the lash, the eyes, the, the lashes. And then I'm going to put mascara on the lower part. Okay, so I'm done with that. It's just bronzer. I'm going to take this dark bronzer. blushes but I forgot to put it on before I put on these things so I'm just going to do some powder blush and go for the Vice Cosmetics the OG Vice Cosmetics powder blush in the shade Shada and after that I'm going to spray first my face with the same fresh skin down to make the look Face mist. Just it dry first. I'm grabbing this highlighter brush. So, 
for this one, I thought of putting on um, lipstick, but I feel like I don't want lipstick because it's kind of hot right now, so I want something lightweight. I'm going to put on this one. This is the um, lip tint from um, gel lip tint from Glow Art in the shade Rosewood, and it's amazing. I, this is like perfect lip tint for me. This actually got, it got broken when I got it because I guess of the delivery. This is just an amazing lip gloss. So that is all for my the usual products that I use slash makeup um, for beginners type of tutorial. So I hope you guys like this um, video and if you like it, then please give it a like. Bye!